Hi there, this is Fakir Yogi Vrindra Yogi, yoga trainer in the GVK EMRI campus. And this is a place has been allocated, allocated for yoga training, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional balance development activities. Physically very strong by yogasana, mentally very strong by meditation, dharana and dhyana, a lot of noble thoughts which can really transform a beast into the most powerful human being like Buddha and Vivekananda. This Fakir Yogi Vrindra Yogi enjoys this session and this has been gifted to me by the kind cooperations of the management of GVK EMRI. Manavatna Padmusa Dr. GV Krishna Reddy approved instantly when Dr. Ramana Rao proposed this idea to really educate people to learn about the yogic way of living life. Yoga teaches people how to take full control of their mind, control and direct towards attainment of a definite purpose in their life. Yoga teaches all the beautiful noble thoughts in various paths, what Patanjali defined in eight limbs of yoga. Eight limbs of yoga means you have to really start from the beginning, how you will behave with the society and system. And there he has given wonderful explanation. That is called Yama. You have to be very much non-violent. You have to be truthful. You have to be a very contented person without having the attitude of stealing anybody's any property. You have to have this absolute control on your sexual energy. And you have to be non-possessive. Five elements in the first part of yogic teachings of Patanjali Yoga Sutra, Limb 1. Ashtanga Yoga of Patanjali Yoga Sutra. Yama means you have to have restraints, constraints on your activities while dealing with every member of the society. And as I am Fakir Yogi, Vendri Yogi, I extend this philosophy not only to the mankind but to every creature because yoga teaches you to develop feelings. Every creature on this earth who are more than eight million millions. They have similar feelings, they have respect feelings of all the creature. That covers non-violent attitude. Don't suppress, don't destroy weaker creatures on this earth. What a great thing. This is not religion, remember it. Religion is the brainchild of some individual. Depending on the limitations, these people taught to the world different stories and the wild masses without contemplating, without judging, their opinions, they borrowed it, they followed it and practiced it. That's why the world is so violent today. Today the world is divided into caste, creed, race, religion, region. But yoga teaches you Basudeva Kutumkam. The whole earth is our family. What was really proclaimed loudly on 1983, world religion of parliament by one of the greatest monks of India, Vivekananda, Swami Vivekananda. Sisters and brothers of America, that is the teaching of yoga. All we are one, the world is one, the world is one, Vasudeva Kutumkam. Next teaching comes very loudly, that Sarve Bhavanta Sukhina, everyone has to be happy, and the most powerful creature on earth, the human being has the responsibility to really see that the weaker creatures, they are protected. Wildlife, human races, the underdeveloped countries, they have to be protected. That is the real meaning of yoga. Unite together. Fight against all these kind of ignorance, indolence, useless grovelings and bestial thoughts. And create divine thoughts. That is to live in perfect harmony and peace and joy. Today the world has lost its way. Ukraine and Russia are fighting. Why? These Putins and Zelensky did not learn the message of yoga. Unite, work together for the peace of the people, for non-destruction of the assets of any nation, because that belongs to everyone. The war is affecting everyone. We are not separated. The world is united together. We have conquered time and space. So yoga teaches you world peace. That's why the world has accepted 21st June, International Day of Yoga. But unfortunately, people want to be very robust, very strong, masculine, like 
lions, hyenas and wolves. That is called physical activity, asana, hatha yoga. But they have forgot the meaning of the spirituality, what I am just narrating before you. The love and affection, the kindness and compassion. Sarve bhavantu sukhina, sarve santu niramaya, sarvadrani pashyantu, makashi dukh bhag bhave. All creatures have to learn to live in perfect harmony, without hurting, without harming, without being violent. Truth is, love all, respect all, be kind and compassionate, because we are all short-lived, transitory. Nothing is permanent, perennial. All is temporary. But the indolence, ignorance, fools, the beasts, they think they are absolute. They will never die. So they want to kill everyone and torture the weaker creatures. They don't have feelings for the weaker creatures. They kill it, murder it, massacre it, eat away. Not only birds with animal plants, but even to the humans. This is the brutal rise of the jungle, survival of the fittest. Yoga teaches you know. He is the weakest who is violent. He is the weakest who is lying and cheat and creating destruction. Understand, fellow friends? Yoga is teaching you your mental growth. That is called the spiritual power. The world can only survive once you have love for the mankind. That is the meaning of yoga. That is covered in yama, niyama. Saksha, santosha, tapasha, swadhyaya, isura paridhana. Here the one, two, four, five. They are also teaching you clean your mind. Words, thought, and action should be very pure. Saksha, Sanskrit word, Sanskrit word. Santosha, contentment. Be happy with whatever you have. Tapasha, perseverance, persistence. Dedication, commitment to really create a wonderful world with your invention, discoveries, and easy good intellectual power. Personal initiative, Sodhyaya. You have not to depend on anybody else. You are blessed with the power of the mind, the integrated network machine. Use that mind and become another enlightened one, another wise person who knows the meaning of love. Truth, justice, peace, love, and non violence, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility. That is yoga. You have to love, you have to care, you have to help. And what is the greatest love? All the government of the states, they have the responsibility to create citizens who are sensitive, who have feelings. Education, that is permanent, perennial approach of the mankind. But what they do? Hate! kill, murder, massacre, conquer, right from the beginning of the civilization, that bestial and groveling attitude had destroyed the beautiful civilization of the world, shattered. Yoga can really eliminate these kind of evil thoughts in the mind. Dear friends, video will become very long, but I tell you, this has been perceived very strongly by Manavratna Dr. Jeevi Krishna Reddy and Dr. Ramna Rao, one of the greatest leaders of our organization, who has made it mandatory for 60,000 people of GVK EMRI, you have to learn to love, because it is a philanthropic organization, at the cost of your own convenience, at the cost of your own all suffering, sorrow, grief and pain. We have to take away all the pains of everyone. That is yoga. Yoga means Adi Guru. Shiv Sambhohar Mahadev, who drank the poison to save the earth from destruction. The person who has Trinatra to destroy the evils and have the wisdom and intellect to protect the world from destruction. That is the meaning. We have borrowed this philosophy from Lord Shiva, so we are there in the service of mankind, committed, dedicated, 24 hours, almost all the states of India. We are operating our one zero services. That is for mankind a really deep emergency crisis. Another we have developed because we believe Atma Sarvutesu 1962 spread over so many states in India. That is loving Atma Sarvutesu, the animals kingdom, the birds and all, beasts and all. Come on, dear friends, I am not criticizing. 
I am trying to stimulate the intelligence of the men and women. Learn yoga. Make your body very strong. And make your mind very much enlightened, educated. And there is only one way you can learn it, whether it is Buddha philosophy, or it is Vivekananda philosophy, or it is philosophy of Patanjali Yoga Sutra. Yama, Nyama, Asana, Pradayama, Pratyahara, Dhana, Dhyana, Samadhi. That is yoga. Yoga, Chitpiti Niroda. Control and direct your mind towards noble thoughts, and your thoughts become things. Truly, thoughts are things, and powerful things are there. When they are mixed with definite of purpose, persistence, and burning desire into translations of reality, a real life comes with real thinking. Yoga teaches you real thinking. Thoughts. Yoga is not physical. Physical is just little part of it. Patanjali Yoga Sutra has a phrase 196. Only three is dealing with physical. It is more of a mental. Mind is tough. Restrained in the mind is tough from taking various forms. Yoga Chitvriti Niroda. Krishna taught Arjuna in the battlefield of Krochutra. What is yoga? He taught yoga to dedicate yourself, commit yourself, and work without being attached to the fruit of your action. Karmanyeva dhikaraste ma phale sukadachana. Ma karfal hetubhu sangostu karmani. Yogaste kuru karmani. Karm karna steadfastly and be indifferent to the results of your action. And so many people have tried to define yoga. But I define yoga. Love all, respect all, be kind and compassionate. Value every minute of your life. Make your body very strong by asanas. And make your mind very strong by pranayama and meditation, dharana and dhyana. And then you will be reaching the real thing, chitta, manasa, transformation from pasu to ahankara, and then buddhi, and then chitta, the supreme conscious mind, which really perceives the noble truth. Ananda, peace for the world, every creature, birds with animal plants and humans. Thank you, viewers.